We are about to make history here, folks. Actually, not really history, but mainly just history on the channel. <laughs> Okay, so today I'm going to be reviewing Monster Energy Drink, whoa, with a twist, because we're doing Monster versus Red Bull Energy. So, I'm just going to say it, I've never been a Red Bull fan, so I'm going to try to clear my bias as much as possible, uh, but I also will say this, I've never been a huge fan of the original Monster. For some reason, the last time I tried it, it tasted like sweat, so I never bothered drinking another one again. In fact, this is the first one I've had since 2017. So I'm a little scared. I don't know if it's going to taste the same. I don't know what, if I just had a bad can that time, but it tasted god awful. It tasted like somebody like ran a fucking marathon and then like squeezed their shirt into a can and then closed it up and put it on a shelf and it was like a it was like a cold can of just sweat. Uh, and I honestly don't even remember what regular Red Bull tastes like. So I'm excited to get into it. I'm very excited. Let's give her a shot. Okay, so I turn, I closed the blinds because that fucking uh, glare was pissing me off. So, yeah, again, we're going to be doing Red Bull versus Monster. Let's give her a shot. So, I'm probably going to open up Monster, honestly, because let's just open them both. I'll open that one. I'm not going to smell them yet. I'm going to save the smell test for a minute. And we're going to compare these. We're going to do a full battle. Which one wins the smell test? Which one wins the flavor test? And which one is just the, over, the overall the better drink? So, already I'm smelling the Monster, and I'm not even really that close to it. In fact, I'm closer to the Red Bull, which is right here, than the Monster that's way over here. So, um, the fact that I can already smell it, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, it's going to probably win the smell test, because it smells pretty fucking fire. Okay, now, I don't remember what flavor this is. I think it's like cherry or something like that. You know what? Both of these drinks smell similar, it's just Red Bull smells a little bit less powerful. Like Monster feels like a, just a just a just a, just a kick in the ass. We're gonna try the Red Bull first, and then try the Monster because I don't want to play favorites here. In actuality, I'm a big Monster fan. Not so much of the original. Maybe I'll like it. I don't know. This is the first one I've had, and I've only ever had one regular Monster before. So this is the second time I've ever had, and this is like the third or fourth time of me ever having a Red Bull. Uh, I, I don't really hate them. I just never really f found like why people like them so much but maybe i'll maybe i'll get it now let's let's give her a shot yeah you know it's not bad um i could definitely tell you i've had a million energy drinks that just taste better than this i i'll never understand the hype for red bull i gotta say it and again this isn't coming from pure bias here of course i'm a monster guy but i'm coming here from a non-bias you know side here i'm not trying to take sides here because if that doesn't taste good i'm gonna be up front with you guys like i said earlier i had a bad experience with one before and i'm not sh i'm not like trying to keep that hidden dude the fact is it was terrible uh but you know this isn't bad i'm not saying it's bad i'm just saying it's not as good as what you would expect based off the commercials and how much everybody goes crazy for red bull it's like red bull red bull red bull red bull give me a red bull red bull has wings uh, but i'm not growing wings and this isn't really that fantastic. It's good. It's something I would get on occasion, probably. But it's not something I would rush to the store to get. You know, whenever I think about energy drinks, the first things that come to mind is like Rockstar, Venom, and Monster Juice, Monster Punch, Rockstar Punch. You know, all those kinds of drinks. I don't really think of Red Bull. You know, it's like the, it's like the last one I would get on a shelf. I would even get the lesser known ones like Rip It or... Uh, full throttle or NOS, you know, or C4. I know, I, dude, as much as I don't like Bang, I would probably pick up a Bang over this. So, if that gives you some kind of image of how I sort of feel about these drinks. Again, I don't want to make it seem like this drink is shit. Okay, it's a good drink. It's something that if you like, like, I guess it's like cherry or something. It, I don't know, it's like citrus for sure. It tastes like citrus. I'm definitely picking up on uh, like a little like really sweet flavor in there. I don't know what it is, but um, I also want to say you don't get as much with Red Bull as you do with Monster. This is 12 fluid ounces. The Monster is 16 fluid ounces. So in general, you get more bang for your buck, even though these are about the same price. So if you're going to go based off of price, Monster gets the W. Uh, if you're going based off the smell, Monster gets the W. 
Just saying. They both have a really fantastic smell, but this one's just significantly strong. Now, if you're somebody who doesn't like strong drinks, let me say this. If you're somebody who doesn't like strong drinks, then, you know, Red Bull's probably the way to go for you because it's like, it's like, a, it's like if you took a monster and then watered it down a little bit. And then you get Red Bull uh, with a with a little twist because it has a different twi tis, twi tis, t twist 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 twix. <laughs> it has a different twist to it than Monster does. But anyways, here we go. My first Monster in like what was that five or six years? Jesus Christ! Here we go. Dear Lord. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say it. Monster wins. And again, this is not coming from bias. I just don't know how anybody in their right mind can try a Red Bull and then try a Monster, or either way, and then go to pick up the Red Bull over the Monster. Monster just has a way better flavor, dude. It's I like strong drinks, okay? It's not like overpowering, like going to knock you on your ass kind of drink. But you really get the flavors, Red Bull's like a little bit like, I don't know, like I said, like I described it earlier, it's like, it feels like you take a monster and you water it down a little bit, whereas Monster's just like full strength all the way, like full Kyle mode all the way, you know? <laughs> um, also, it, let's talk about the branding, which one wins in the branding. So on here we have the little bulls, the red bulls with the yellow uh, sun in the backdrop. Blue and silver cans, it's iconic, you know, I gotta give them their points, you know, whenever people think about energy drinks. Red Bull's usually the first one you see, because they have a shit ton of commercials on TV. And I gotta say, I don't really see any monster commercials, so, as far as the marketing scheme goes, and the commercials are pretty funny, so Red Bull definitely wins in that aspect, uh, for sure. Like, it's, it's a popular drink, even people who don't even like energy drinks drink Red Bulls, so. But Monster... Monster has that mysterious aspect to it. You know, it's just a green logo, a green M at that, just a claw, a green M claw on the can with a black backdrop, which makes it so mysterious. You see that logo on the shelf in a cooler case, and you're just like, hmm, I want that. I want to see what that tastes like. What is that? You know, you see a Red Bull, you've seen them on TV. You know, you, you get the idea. You know, they tell you Red Bull has, Red Bull gives you wings and you know so you kind of go in with a predetermined idea it's not super mysterious obviously it doesn't really give you wings but the commercials are everywhere so you you kind of have an idea of what you're walking into and it's not very mysterious can it's just red bulls with a yellow sun whereas this is like black with the green and that's just a perfect color combination i mean look at that green and black it's like it's like the it's like the perfect color combination dude um God, I realize I've only taken one sip of the Monster. I need to take another sip because that's not fair to Monster. I done took like three sips of Red Bull. Oh, man. That flavor, man. Now I know why I'm such a big fan of Monsters. Okay. And I also want to speak to those people who might be watching this video that don't like energy drinks. I know there's a lot of those people out there. I know there's some people that are just outright scared of energy drinks. Like they see them and they want to run in the other direction because they're like, oh my god, that's going to kill me if I take a sip. And the truth is, no, it won't. It will not kill you if you take a sip. It won't kill you if you drink the whole can. It'll kill you if you drink it um, out of moderation. You know, you, you drink a couple ever so often, you know, maybe one ever so often. It's not going to do anything to you, dude, unless you have some kind of like heart failure disease already or something. It's not going to do anything to you. You know, there's a warning on the back of the can telling you that kind of shit. If you're pregnant, don't drink it. If you have, like, some kind of heart condition, don't drink it. So if you drink and you have either of those things going on, that's your own damn fault. Don't blame the company. I hate when people blame the companies, dude. All they're trying to make is drinks to help people. You know, Monster's not setting out to kill people. Red Bull's, yeah, Red Bull's not setting out to kill people. Rockstar, Venom, all those guys. None of them are setting out to ki kill people. You know, they're trying to make drinks to help us. You know, and some people just can't jive with that. They can't, energy drinks just don't work with them. They don't click. You know, it's like, sometimes, you know, things just aren't meant to be. So, if you know that these things are not for you, then don't have them, you know. But if you are ever wanting to experiment, you know, be like, hmm, I want to see what those taste like. Give them a shot. Give both a shot, like I'm doing here. 
Try them both because chances are you might like one or the other that I don't like. You Hell, maybe you've tried both of these and you think the Red Bull tastes the best and Monster tastes like garbage and you'll throw it out after a sip. Who knows, dude? Um, that's the cool thing about opinions. We all have them. But nonetheless, Monster wins for most things. I will say that the marketing for Red Bull is fantastic. The marketing for Red uh, Monster is like lagging way behind. We need to see way more commercials for Monster, dude. If they made more commercials, I feel like they would be as big as as big as big Red Bull by now. Like, they'd be everywhere. Everybody would know about them. I've seen some people that don't even know what a fucking Monster Energy drink is, dude. But everybody knows Red Bull. Old people know Red Bull. Young people know Red Bull. Little kids know Red Bull. Fucking the ants that walk across the ground probably know what a Red Bull is. You know, it's like everybody has seen or heard of Red Bull at some point. Monster, while it is a very popular energy drink, and I've seen a lot of people walking around with them, they're just not as popular. Let's face it, even those Monster energy drinkers that are watching this video probably, you know, you gotta admit it. You gotta admit it. Red Bull is just marketed way better than Monster energy drink is. So, Red Bull, you guys take the W for marketing. Monster, you take the L for marketing. You gotta ramp up the marketing, dudes. But everything else, I think Monster succeeds at, so... But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching the super long battle between Monster versus Red Bull. Now stay tuned to watch Bang versus Rockstar. <laughs> Those two won't even be comparing. What kind of drink would compare to Bang? I don't know. But let me know if you guys want to see more videos just like this, like comparing sodas. <gasps> I got one. Oh my god. So stay tuned. I'm going to make another one. This is going to be super entertaining. <laughs> see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.